Coming up, why a woman who sends treats to our troops says thieves left her with a sour taste in her mouth. Plus, donations down. A representative from the Salvation Army joins us live to tell us why the need is greater than ever. And find out how an early Christmas gift is making a world of difference in the life of this local woman. Not so good news for some other needy families. The Salvation Army is struggling this holiday season. Donations are down more than 10%, and the annual Red Kettle campaign is several hundred thousands of dollars away from its goal right now. Major Steve Morris with the Salvation Army joins us now. Major, thanks for being with us today. My pleasure. I feel like we did this story last year, that the donations were down last year. What's what's the problem this year? It's much we, more significant? We did, the, we did this story last year before the last weekend. Mm -hmm. uh, with Christmas coming on a Sunday, the last weekend really was this past weekend. We expect a lot coming in on Friday, but Saturday's a short shopping day. Mm -hmm. So uh, we were waiting until now to see really where we landed, and we are considerably behind last year. And what does that mean for the families? Well, I, I mentioned to you before we went on the air, we've had a 14% increase in requests for service just during the Christmas season. So uh, we're concerned about meeting people's needs as far as heat, utility, uh, uh, rent assistance is in uh, January, February. And uh, right now, we're very concerned about how we can keep that level up. Because so many more families locally are affected by the recession. Absolutely. We had 11,000 new families come, 11,000 new people come find the Salvation Army asking for assistance oh this past year. Tell us, wh who are the families who qualify for service from the Salvation Army and what si types of services you provide? Because we hear that sure. bell, but I think people hear it and they don't really understand what you actually do. Yeah, a lot of people are, are not clear about that, frankly. Uh, we are really in the business of helping home we feed people on the streets. We help transition families from homelessness to self-sufficiency. But really, a lot of our effort and energy is spent in keeping those in poverty housed. So we're helping with rent assistance. We're helping with utilities. If you have a cutoff notice, we want to help you stay housed so that you don't become uh, a part of the homeless population. And more and more people can do a lot of things, but they're just running short on that income. And every quarter counts. And Absolutely. You need more than just quarters now. And I know you implemented the uh, credit card option right? a while ago. Has that helped at all? It has helped some. Uh, we have the QR codes on the Kettle location, so you can mm -hmm. scan it on your phone. You can give it salarmydc.org. So we're trying trying every avenue that we can to let people know the need is great this year and we're here to help. Are you considering alternatives to the red kettle? Uh, well, we're doing everything we can in uh, in this quarter to try and do uh, uh -huh. get get as much exposure as possible. We're not going to do the red kettle another time of year, but we're looking at new opportunities okay. to raise some funds other times during the calendar year. Well, I sure hope people give in these last uh, few days of your campaign. Good luck to you and Thank Major you. Steve uh, Morris. Thanks for being with us. My pleasure. All right.